Hey guys, it's Allie, and I'm going to be doing a quick review of the show called The English. Now, The English was a show, I don't know about your experience with it, but it was a drama that I saw like zero advertisements for, no trailers, no ads, nothing until the day it was released on Amazon Prime, it came across my fire stick. And I do have to tell you, westerns are like my number one go-to genre of film and TV. It's just a huge weakness for me, so anytime I see a new western come out, I'm like, I gotta try it out. I gotta at least give it a shot, and so I always do. And I'm glad I did with this one. The English is a show that stars Emily Blunt, and I want to say his name correct. I believe it's Chask Spencer. It might be Chask or something, but... Uh, I apologize if I just absolutely butchered your name, sir. Uh, you did fantastic. But Emily Blunt plays um, a woman named Lady Cornelia, and Chas Spencer plays Sergeant Eli Whip, who is a Native American serving in the American Army in the late 1800s. He is leaving the American Army to go back home to Homestead in Nebraska. On his journey back home, he ends up meaning Emily Blunt, aka Lady Cornelia. They're kind of thrown together in this very odd way where both of them probably should have ended up dead in a very terrible situation, but instead they're both alive and everyone else in their terrible situation is dead. So with some pleading from Lady Cornelia, Sergeant Whip decides to take Lady Cornelia further west. She's trying to get to Wyoming for a reason that is kind of later to be revealed. She just claims that she is going to confront the man she says is responsible for her son's death. The show does a really cool thing in this storyline. At least it did for me. I don't know if everyone was as gullible or as duped as I was, but I was duped and I appreciated being duped, if that makes sense. So, the show introduces us to Thomas Trafford, who is played by Tom Hughes, and Thomas Trafford is kind of introduced in this way that you assume he is the man that uh, Cornelia is talking about, that she is going to get her revenge because he is responsible for her son's death, he is the father of her son. And so the whole time I'm kind of just watching this show thinking it's Tom Hughes that she's going to go see. It's Tom Hughes that she's going to go see. But then about halfway through the show, we're introduced to this man named David Melmont. And David Melmont has been hired by Thomas Trafford when he first came to the United States to help him settle an area. And this area is in Wyoming, and this is where Lady Cornelia is on her way to go. The show get, got a little bit confusing because it ends up kind of traveling back and forth in time, like, to present day, which is, like, where the story begins with, you know, Eli Whip and Emily Blunt. Um, and it also goes back in time, like, 15 years. And so it got a little confusing and convoluted, at least to me. But they always do put up a little, like, tab to let you know, like, some words, like, this is you know, back in time so that it helps you out a little bit. It gives you some clues. But anyways, we're introduced to this character, David Melmont, 15 years before where the story begins. And he is hired by Thomas Trafford to help him settle this area of Wyoming. Well, what we see ends up happening is uh, David Melmont with some other members of the U.S. Army go and commit a terrible, terrible crime, a massacre against a Native American tribe. Later, what happens is you see David Melmont back in England going to talk to Lady Cornelia. She hasn't met Eli Whip yet. This is 15 years before any of this stuff happens with Sergeant Whip and Lady Cornelia teaming up together to go face the man that she wants revenge on. If it sounds confusing, it's because it kind of is, but it's really, really well done, so don't let my confusing attempt at understanding it and explaining it to you ruin the show for you. <laughs> I feel like none of this is making sense. Anyways, David Melmont comes to England and he's talking to Lady Cornelia, who is the fiancé of Thomas Trafford, but it's kind of made clear that um, 
he never really proposed to her. It's just kind of, they had a romance, but nothing really happened between Thomas Trafford and Lady Cornelia. Uh, but David Melmont assumed that she was. And so he comes to tell her that Thomas Trafford has committed this terrible crime of massacring a village, a tribe of Native Americans. And this whole time, you know, that you're watching, you realize, no, 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 you're the one that did this. But he's trying to trick her. Um, and he tells her that he is locked in this prison that's like a well and it's going to fill up with water and he's going to die if she doesn't give him a certain amount of money so that he can go and free her, you know, fiancé, her love or whatever. And so she kind of lets him know like, hey, I'll try and help you to get you that money, but you know, he's not my fiancé, whatever. And so he's like, okay, it's been some time and he comes back to get this money from her. Well... She's gotten a letter from Thomas Trafford, and he has made it very clear that he had nothing to do with this terrible massacre. In fact, David Melmont was a part of this terrible massacre. And so she realizes that she's been duped by this guy, and so she confronts him when he comes to her and is like, you know, hey, you lied to me. <laughs> and what ends up happening is David Melmont steals the money from her and he attacks her he assaults her so this is the answer to the question that we are first posed in that first i believe first episode is when we're kind of revealed her plan of wanting revenge on the man that she assumes responsible for her son's death the whole time again i was thinking it was thomas trafford it is david melmont so she becomes pregnant with his son has his son and you're asking yourself, why did this son die? Well, David Melmont has syphilis and he passed it to Lady Cornelia, who passed it on to her son. And her son had it very badly and died. Um, so that's, there's kind of a little bit of like gray area with all of what goes on in that 15 years. We don't really understand fully like the grasp of what that death looked like, but now in the future, just a little context, David Melmont is like this huge businessman mogul in this area that he settled with Thomas Trafford. He's viewed as like this upstanding citizen. So now we're back to Eli Whip and Lady Cornelia coming back on their way to Wyoming so she can get some revenge and they're facing off against this terrible human being that is David Melmont and she is still suffering from syphilis and is slowly deteriorating because of it. Uh, there is no, you know, cure. And so she's slowly dying. She wants to get her revenge before that happens because truly not only did David Melmont sentence her to death, but he sentenced her son to death by doing what he did. Um, so yeah, so we see kind of this revenge story play out in a very interesting and different way of storytelling and I really like that there's a lot of filler things that happen in between as they are also trying to understand how this massacre happened and there's revenge being acted out on the members of the army that um, helped David Melmont do this massacre against this tribe so it's a really cool story that's told in six episodes I feel like it probably could have been told in a little bit less the last episode feels a tad bit rushed but I really enjoyed the way that this story was told, and I really, really enjoyed the story overall, so I highly recommend that you check out the English. I'm sorry for that very convoluted explanation of what happened in this story, but it was really well done, and I hope that you give it a shot. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you all next time. Bye!